bienvenue au temps de la renommée de Gaz Québec. Knowing Steve and, and having had a great relationship with Steve and knowing his credentials, his background and his accomplishments, I knew that he was an ideal candidate and a very deserving person for the Hall of Fame. So I took it upon myself to organize his nomination and um, I was proud and very pleased to submit it to Golf, Ca Golf Quebec and, uh, and uh, I'm really happy and pleased that it was approved. I was very close to Steve's career. Uh, he joined Royal Montreal in 1987. Uh, I've been here for much longer than that, but I watched Steve develop as a player. And uh, when I think back to Steve's passion, his dedication, his commitment, his focus, his shot-making ability, and um, and and also, you know, off the course, uh, as you get to know Steve really well, as I did, I had the opportunity to get to know him very well. We played a lot of golf together. Uh, his character and his respect for the game is exemplary. I mean, he is a just a true gentleman. C'est vraiment la période des années, fin des années 80, début des années 90, où il dominait tout simplement la scène amateur au Québec. M. Davies a remporté quatre fois le championnat amateur du Québec, a été sept fois sur l'équipe du Québec au championnat canadien amateur. Je pense qu'il y avait un mot à tenir de M. Davies, c'est un compétiteur. Alors, évidemment, il a compétitionné en Australie, il a compétitionné au Canada. Donc, on peut penser que pendant la période où il, était, il dominait la scène, bien, he savait gagner. He was a competitor, he savait gagner, he savait mettre les, les efforts au bon endroit. Steve has always been a good friend to me. Uh, he's always been willing to help me to become a better player. And off the golf course, Steve was a hell of a family man. Uh, cared deeply about his wife and kids. And for many years, he sacrificed golf to take care of Jessica's soccer. Always taking her to soccer games two, three times a day. So he, he was very solid on the golf course, very determined, very focused. He knew how to hit shots, he knew how to win. And, you know, when you were off the golf course, he was a true, true friend. I'm well, really proud of Steve. I've, I've seen him win at every level. Um, it's very deserving for Steve to go into the uh, Quebec Golf Hall of Fame. I'm proud of him, I'm happy for him, I'm happy for the family, because as a family, you make sacrifices when your partner, your father, uh, is a skilled golfer traveling away from home at different times of the year. And it's a challenge for everybody to kind of put up with it. Uh, so I'm proud of the family and I'm just really happy for Steve. It's long overdue and he joins the elite company. We are so proud. You know, my, one thing my dad always says to my sister and I is we're so, I'm so proud of you. Um, it was a very proud moment and I think he deserved it so much. Like all the things he's done, um, you know, and being in the golf business, I think he really is, he's such a respectable player um, on and off the course. Yeah, I was just, I honestly proud, very like emotional. Obviously, I know it's very important to him. So that was another big thing. So no, I've been, we've been waiting for this moment now for it's almost a year, I guess, since we found out. And no, I'm very excited. I'm so proud of him. And I'm happy that, you know, after all, but the, you know, the years that he's, he's put into it, that he's recognized for all the, the hard work he's put in. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm just so happy for him. I'm so proud of him. Uh, we all are, you know, the, the girls and uh, even Abby, our granddaughter. And she was so excited to come tonight. He's a great father, great husband. We've been married 41 years, so that says something. <laughs> it's a little surreal, I'll be quite honest with you. You know, when you start the game, I, I, I played golf because I loved it. And, uh, you know, you don't, you're not playing it to get into the Quebec Golf Hall of Fame or whatever. It's just as time goes on and accomplishments happen, you win tournaments. Uh, I think it's just a byproduct of a lot of years. So, but it's, it's pretty surreal when you look at people like Graham Cook and Duke Doucette and Debbie Savoy in it and be part of that group uh, is quite special for sure. I think I'm a very good competitor. I think good in the way that I wish other people well. I don't, I, you know, I want to win because I play better, not because they play badly. Um, but I, I try every shot and I, uh, I'm able to get out of trouble and get into, you know, but as I say, in my peak, I hit the ball very, very well. So it was, uh, you know, I guess it's staying in the moment, staying focused, but uh, it's just never giving up, I guess. I think most proud of is my family, to be quite honest with you. I think. Uh, 
My family's always been the most important thing to me, and I think what I'm proud of my golf career is um, I had a good career while still making my family the most important thing. So I think for me, that's the thing that really stands out because nothing is more important than they are to me.